Welcome to the Classical Berry Sax channel. Today we're going to be doing a Fairling number no. two tutorial. And if you watched my video of me playing Fairling number no. two, then I think you already probably have some opinions about how it went. So today I'm going to talk about some of the things that helped me learn it and obviously talk about some of the things that didn't go so well. So right off the bat, I think we need to point out that I played this one at 94 beats per minute. That's what I got it up to. And I was pretty proud of that because honestly, this one is so hard for me. Being a Barry Sax player, I don't often get the chance to play really, really fast stuff. So maybe shame on all the teachers out there who never gave me a chance to play really fast stuff. But it's harder for me to play the fast pieces. So I was really happy that I managed to get this up to 94 beats per minute. And honestly, I decided that it was more important to play things clearly and accurately than to just play it at the correct speed. So... Let's get started. I sometimes take a really fast piece, one that has staccatos and things like that, and I just slur through the entire song. And I know that probably sounds kind of crazy and like maybe a little bit blasphemous, <laughs> but it really helps you to learn the notes and it helps you to get a good tone quality because you are having tone through the entirety of the song instead of playing little staccato tiny little bits that sometimes your tone disappears. And what this does is then once you add in the staccatos and the tonguing, it helps you to maintain that really good tone quality. Here's a quick example of how I would just slur through the whole piece. It would sound something a little bit like this. <laughs> And when you do that a lot, it also really helps you to identify the spots in your instrument that have a tendency to crack in between notes. So for me, it was when I went from the C to the E or something like that, I think. Um, that's always going to be tricky because it's a register break. It's going from notes that don't have that thumb register key to notes that do. And that often causes lots of cracking and popping and all sorts of weird things. So when you slur through a piece, it'll help you identify those spots. Halfway through the piece and we finally get a place to breathe. <laughs> this song is crazy. And so you may have noticed there were spots where I kind of cut out notes to try and accommodate a breath because can't play any other notes if you can't breathe, you know? Sometimes people will try and take a little bit of a, a pause in the music to breathe, and then they'll just be off time a little bit. And I thought with a song that's this fast, I really want to try and stay right on the time uh, instead, of, instead of playing with the time a little bit. What I did instead was I eliminated some notes or made them shorter uh, to try and sneak a breath in. And... It still didn't always work. I still ended up sometimes getting a little bit off the beat and that was a challenge that I was working through on this one. for me I was so happy to get through this piece and have something slightly decent. Um, one of the things I had to work on a lot is lining up my tonguing with my fingering. It takes a lot of practice to get your tongue and your fingers to line up like that and oftentimes it ends up sounding something more like right and the way to get your tongue and your fingers to line up is by practicing really slowly so slowly just start with quarter notes if you have to da 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 and just try and make sure that your fingers are moving right at the exact same time as your tongue is moving and you'll just kick it up a couple of beats per minute until suddenly you're going at eighth notes da 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 da, da. and then you'll be able to go da 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 da, da. It really is just about slow practicing. That'll help a lot. And that was failing number two. Thanks so much for listening. Happy practicing. <laughs>